so far we have learned a lot of things working with python uh, and we want to move ahead to start building uh, really reasonable products using python uh, in this series we've talked about so many things we've touched on uh, uh, functions we've touched on loops we've touched on many other things and we've even built some sample projects along the way so right now we want to optimize our our products and we want to make it better by using functions and loops in them uh, the last time we had a product a project together we worked on a basic ATM mock-up product uh, project that is a queen that allows people to log in register uh, well not register but log in withdraw and some other things and then I asked you to improve on it and make it better so I'm going to be uh, doing something different this time, but everything I'll be touching in this new um, project is going to be useful for your ATM project. So you can always go back to that project and make it better yourself. I just believe in uh, building something else. I believe it's better to build something else that you can then relate to your existing project while even still building another project so that by doing that, you have uh, diverse experience building different things and you can learn from that process. All right, so what we want to do, let's just open up a file here. I'm going to call it, uh, okay, I already have a file. I tried a few things earlier, so I'll delete this file and just create a file and call it, basically means authentication. That means login uh, and register and reset password and all of that. But at this point, we are going to be focusing on, um, okay. <laughs> I guess we're focusing on register and then login. So you just you just come to the platform, they register, you save their registration somewhere, and then they are able to log in with that registration. Okay. Before we move on to talk about that, we are going to be I'll, I'll be introducing it to to a new data type, kind of, uh, which is called a dictionary. In Python, a dictionary is like uh, what we talked about a list. But in Python, a dictionary is created using curly brackets rather than the square brackets. And then it also works with key value pair. So what does that mean? Let's look at the list. This is a, a sample list. So a list is just having a, a square bracket like this. And then you have your value in there. But for a dictionary, let's say dictionary one. You start with this so by doing this a lot of other languages probably call this an object or something uh, but by doing this you have created a new dictionary so let's go ahead and print this out dictionary one Ugh, again so I'll save that uh, of course I need to comment this yes if I can comment all right so let's comment that out and print this out. Okay, a code is already running. All right, let's. I'll just manually run this. I don't know what code is running, but you can always manually run the code by doing this. And that prints out this empty thing that I have here. But if I let's print out a list and be sure that uh, that is printing out what we expected to print out. Let's run this again. So it print that out normally. So this is. A dictionary now to add value to a dictionary there are different ways to do it I can this is method one uh, method one I mean I'll just I'll just mention two methods anyway so you have a, a key here key one and then in front you have a value value uh, one so that's why I said it works with key value pair so again key two and value Two and so on. Okay, let me just add one more value three. So if I print dictionary one out now, I should get what I expect to get, which is this that I have right here. Now, another way, let's say method two. Method two is I could do dictionary. Of course, this is two empty, and then manually add value to my dictionary this way, and say key. Uh, let's let's say that is four. 
okay, 4 is equal to value 4 and let's be lazy as usual so copy this paste 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 so this is going to be 5 this is going to be 5 uh, this is going to be 6 and this is going to be 6 so let's save that and print out 2 this time all right let's print that out and you see that actually still prints out so these are the ways you can uh, print out or add value to a dictionary now there is something else you can do with the dictionary you can delete item from a dictionary so i will just uh, i would uh, take this out and say print out try to delete from dictionary just say delete use the delete keyword specify the dictionary you want to delete from and then specify the value you want to delete so i, I could use key four and say delete this for me then i'm going to go ahead and print out uh, dictionary two because that, that's where i'm deleting from so i'll run that again and you see dictionary two now has just two items in it uh two keys and two values in it so that's that uh, i could have done the same thing for dictionary one this is a list by the way don't get confused okay so moving on to the next thing i another way to remove an item from this dictionary is i could do uh, dictionary one dictionary one dot pop so pop basically is going to just remove an item from the dictionary but i still need to specify the item that i would like to remove from this dictionary so in my case i want to remove uh let's remove where is dictionary one so let's remove key one from this dictionary key one so it removes key one and its value one let's save that and run the code again and you can see that still works as expected i'm going to clear this so we have a blank uh, slate to work with all right so that's for dictionary final thing i wanted i want to touch on dictionary is how to loop through the items in a dictionary we've already talked about looping through uh, the items in a list so let's do the same for dictionary i'll still be using these dictionaries but i'm going to be commenting all this out and then just write my loop here dictionary loop. okay let's try with a for loop for so to, to look through the items in the dictionary you need to specify um the key and the value in dictionary name let's dictionary one items this is how so what, what you are basically saying is for each key value pair in this dictionary but this has to be you have to attach items to it for key value pair in this dictionary for each of the items in it do the next thing I'm about to do. So let's say we print out. I have. I'm just going to be um, key relating with, uh, and then say that I don't know what this means, but <laughs> uh, we're going to print it out anyway. Just not to take too much time working on this. This is basic thing. You've already done loops. You've already done uh, all of this. So it's just for me to show you how it works with dictionaries. So let's run this code one more time and it prints everything we expect it to print out so simple that's how to look through a dictionary this is how to create a dictionary and uh, in our next project we are going to actually be using this this dictionary to kind of mimic a basic authentication system we are going to be adding value to the dictionary and using that value to log into the system and then uh, using the loop to make sure that until you get your password and uh, username correctly, you don't get into the system.